Hey guys, what's up? Robbie here, and I'm here to do a um, an update on my Wii collection. Um, I know you can't see it all, but it's all down here, and I've got them all lined up, and I'm ready to go through all my games with you, tell you a short thing about them, what I like, what I don't like, what I think's cool, um, and that's pretty much it, just going through all my games. Um, this is probably going to be in two parts, so I will have a link down there somewhere throughout the whole video to go to part two. Um, I'm anticipating a part two, not sure. But um, this is an update of my video, keep that in mind. I already have a Wii collection, um, but I have got quite a few games since then, and I know people have been asking for just an update of everything. So let's hop to it. And I actually have two games over here for some reason. But we will start with Animal Crossing City Folk. Um, I know a lot of people that have this game. I played this game with Holly, Dog in My Land, with uh, the Wii Speak, which I actually bought with this. And if you're a huge fan of any kind of sim playing game, or if you're a fan of, of course, the game on DS or on GameCube, I would definitely recommend recommend Animal Crossing City Folk. It's actually, I, I know people have been criticizing it just because it's kind of the same as um, the DS version. But I see nothing wrong with being the same as the DS version. I love the DS version. So, um, I would definitely recommend picking this up, especially if you loved the previous versions. It keeps you busy. I love that it actually keeps in time with the seasons and the time of day. And I love the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is always the best part about Animal Crossing games, playing with your friends and stuff. So that is Animal Crossing City Folk. Now, the other one I have, um, is Big Brain Academy Wii Degree. Um... You may not know, or you may know, that there's a DS version called just Big Brain Academy. And I got this. This was a game that came out a long time ago. But um, I would say that if you're into brain teasers and stuff, this is a perfect game for you. I think there's a lot of brain teaser games out there, but I think this is the best one. It's Nintendo published, so, you know, all Nintendo published games are usually pretty good. Um, it's After a while, it gets kind of boring because you do, like, the same things. But um, if you have, like a couple intellectual friends, and you're over. It's actually a really fun game to play, because you're, like, arguing with each other, trying to figure out problems and stuff. So I think with a party of smart friends, this is fun. But also, if you're just on your own, it's pretty fun, too, and you never know, you could sharpen your mind. All right, so next we have uh, Cooking Mama Cook-Off. Um, I actually had no intention of buying this game. My dad actually bought this for my mom on Mother's Day. Um... It was on sale at Target, and it was kind of like a joke, you know, for Mother's Day. But, um, I can't really say too much about this. I haven't really tried it. I've played the DS versions, and they're kind of fun pick-up-and-play games. Um, can't really say much about this. You might want to ask my mom. But, um, that's it. Alright, so the next game I have here is Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party. Now, I know that when I got this game at first, it was like all the rage. I played this all the time. Um, everyone's a fan of Dance Dance Revolution games, whether you can play them or not. Um, I'm not too good at them, but they're really fun. Um, the only criticism I have about this is that, um, it didn't really have any popular music. It was all, like, that Japanese music, and I don't, I don't know if it's Japanese, but it's music I've never heard of. And I think it would benefit a lot, um, from more modern or pop culture music. And I'm sure, um, earlier versions have this. I think this is, this is a 2006 game, so obviously it's gonna have old songs. But, um, for a Dance Dance Revolution game, it's fun. I mean, all Dance Dance Revolution games are pretty much the same. But, um, that is Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party. And, okay, next we have a fairly recent title, and that is Donkey Kong Country Returns. Now, this is actually one of the biggest games of 2010 that I was looking forward to. I had to pick this up the day it came out. Um, and I would definitely say it lived up to the hype, um... I don't, I don't know if you guys remember, but a long time ago, in one of my videos, I'd been hoping for a new Donkey Kong Country-like game for Wii, and they finally got it, and I was so excited to get it, and it is awesome. I love platformers. They're, like, my favorite, but, um, on the Wii, it definitely worked. It's hard at times, but I think that it's hard is what makes it fun, because it's a challenge, and I like challenges, and I think it's a great game. I would definitely recommend picking this up for anyone, um, I... I mean, sometimes the difficulty level gets in the way, but you always have that override system where it takes over for you. Actually, I'm not sure if that's in this game. Maybe I'm mixing games up. <laughs> Sorry. But it's fun, and it's Donkey Kong, so you know it's going to be good. Next, we have EA Active. 
Now, this game wasn't really bought for me. It was kind of for my mom on those rainy days when she can't go out running. But um, I actually think I got more of a workout from this than Wii Fit. So if you want a good workout, I would definitely recommend EA Active. I think there's a second one um, for all systems. So uh, it seemed like a good workout to me. I was sweating, and it was tough for me that's at times. So I would definitely recommend EA Active if you're looking for a good um, uh, exercising game for Wii or, like I said, EA Active 2 for any kind of platform. Now the next game was one that I was actually like anticipating for a long time because, as you know, I'm a huge Disney theme park fan. And when they announced that there would be a game loosely based off of the Disney theme parks, I was so excited. And that is Epic Mickey. And the sad thing is, I haven't actually had time to start this until, like, a couple days ago. And uh, when I did start, I played for, like, six hours. I was so hooked on Epic Mickey. It was so great. It's, like, it's a 3D platformer with Mickey Mouse, and it has a great backstory. I love the story that goes along with it. And, of course, it's in, like, all these decrepit, like, Disney theme parks. And I really find that stuff so interesting because I love the Disney theme parks. So it's so cool to see... The art style. The art style in this is amazing. So, and I think anyone could play this. I mean, there's pretty good instructions, and it's it's a challenge, but it's really fun, and I would definitely recommend Epic Mickey. Now, the next is Excite Truck, and Excite Truck was one of the launch games that, of course, came out with the Wii, and I got it on launch day, and Excite Truck has been one of those games that you kind of just play every once in a while. It sticks around. It's kind of timeless fun. Um, I, I play it with the kids I babysit. They have a great time playing Excite Chuck. And I know if you have anyone of any age, they'll love Excite Chuck because it kind of appeals to everyone. It's, it's not the best racing game that I've played in my life, but it is fun. It's easy. You can pick it up. Um, so that is Excite Chuck. Now next is Guitar Hero World Tour. Um, I'm sure everyone's played Guitar Hero. Some kind of Guitar Hero. Um, this one I picked up because I wanted to do the drums and the singing, and I didn't want to get Rock Band for some reason, I wanted a Guitar Hero game, so I picked up Guitar Hero World Tour. I haven't played this in a while, but from what I can remember, it was a great game, it had some great songs. Um, I think they have tons of new ones out now, but this had some great songs, and I, I love that it has the drums and the microphone. And next we have Iron Chef, Iron Chef America Supreme Cuisine. I have never played this, so I honestly cannot tell you anything about this. This was another kind of joke game I got for my dad on Father's Day, because, you know, I'm a video game person, so I wanted to get him a video game for that he could enjoy, and he's a big cook, so I got him this. I can't say really anything about it, but there we go, Iron Chef America. Now, the next game is one that I have been quite hooked on, like, for since this Christmas when I got it, and that is Lego Harry Potter Years 1 through 4. Now, if you don't know, I'm, like, the biggest fan of Harry Potter on this planet. I know, you're probably going to say you are, but I'm the biggest Harry Potter fan on this planet. And this game is amazing. Um, I would recommend, even if you're not a fan of Harry Potter, the gameplay in this is very solid, very good, and the characters, the worlds, it's a long game, too. I've played this game for, like, at least 30 hours, and I'm, like, I still have a ton more to go collect. There's a lot of collection, which if you're really into that, that's great. Um, so I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend uh, Lego Harry Potter to anyone, and the magic, of course, appe appeals to all ages. Okay, next is another great game from Nintendo that was announced at E3 last year that came out in 2010, and that is Kirby's Epic Yarn, and I know a ton of people were so excited for this game, and I was too, and it definitely lived up to the Kirby hype. We'd all been looking forward to a Kirby platformer on the Wii, and it definitely did the deed. It's a little easy at times, but actually I've seen myself get, especially on the later levels, I've got stuck on some pretty hard parts. But um, Kirby's Epic Yarn is so appealing, the art style is so charming, the little yarn animals and everything, they're so cute. And I think it's a I think it's a great game. Um, it's one of those pick up and play games because levels aren't too long, but it's really fun. I love the world. I love the art style. It's one of my favorite art styles of any game. And the Kirby gameplay is just amazing, like all Kirby games. So that is Kirby's Epic Yarn. 
Now, next was another launch title I got. I think it was launch title. Yeah, it was a launch title <laughs> that I got with the Wii, and that is Madden 07. Um, I honestly haven't played this too much. I know I played it a lot when I first got it. And it's like all Madden games. It's fun. It's if you're into football. I mean, there's probably a Madden, what, Madden 12 out now? So I would recommend getting that instead of Madden 07. But, um, Madden 07, football game. If you like sports games, get a Madden game. And next, I have two games in a series. Um, and those are the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games and Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games. Now, this game, this first game, I think came out in 2007 right before the, well, a year before the 2008 Beijing Olympics, and I have to say this is one of my favorite um, pick-up-and-play games, because the, game, the Olympic games that you play are very short, so you can just pick it up and play. Um, I love how it has swimming, because I'm a big swimmer, and I love all the track events and the field events, and I'd say with a party, this is one of your top games to play. And again, with Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games, kind of the same thing, they kind of ramped up the style, they ramped up the aesthetics in this game, and of course you have the winter games, so the summer games, but this one's just as fun as the original, you have like, um, the, dr the dream events, which are one of my favorites, In I like the dream events in this one better than the summer games because of the dream ice skating, which is such a blast to play with other people, um, so I would, if you want a good, um, pick up and play, easy party game that anyone can play, um, I would definitely recommend the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games series. Well, two of them. They're both really good. Alright, and of course, the game almost everyone in this world has, that is Mario Kart Wii. Um, definitely on my top top five list of favorite Wii games. Um, I, I can't say enough about Mario Kart. I mean, we've all grown up with the Mario Kart series, whether it was on Nintendo 64, whether you went to the Game Boy Advance, or you went to DS, and now it comes to Wii here, and of course we have the new 3DS Mario Kart coming out, um, sometime this year, supposedly, but Mario Kart Wii is so great, um, one of my favorite parts is the Wi-Fi, um, it never, it never, like, freezes or craps out on you, it never, um, it's, it's seamless, I mean, it feels like you're just playing with other people online without having any interruptions, which I think is great. And of course the courses on here are amazing. We got the crazy Rainbow Road, which everyone always hates. And we got some crazy new courses that are awesome to play around with. I'm sure most everyone's played this game. But um, I'm sure you all know how amazing Mario Kart is. So that is Mario Kart Wii. And next is Mario Party 8. I know this game was originally criticized as not living up to the Mario Party series. But I would say it compares pretty well with the Mario Karts, I mean, um, with the Mario Party. It was not my favorite Mario Party, but it was up there. I mean, I thought Mario Party 8 was really fun, and what it was supposed to do was use the Wii Remote's new technology, and, because this came out fairly early during, after the Wii's release, and I think it did that great. It, the boards are really fun. I like that there's an actual, like, plot or a story to it, and, um, I don't actually remember too much about this, because I haven't played it. But I remember it was a great game to play with a party, so um, if you want a good party game with the Mario label on it, definitely recommend Mario Party 8. Next is New Play Control Mario Power Tennis. Now, um, of course, Mario Power Tennis originally came out on the GameCube, and it was redone, remastered, and new controls, motion controls for the Wii. Um, if you love tennis games, this is definitely the best tennis game I've played out there for the Wii. Um, of course, we have the Nintendo label and the Mario character, so you know it's going to be something good. And um, I think I remember the power-ups in this being pretty amazing. Um, and I, c I liked the style of the game with the um, the different um, the settings and stuff. They were really they were really cool to play with. And if you're a tennis fan. Mario Power Tennis is for you. And next is Mario Strikers Charged, and we we all remember the, um, what was it called? Um, <laughs> Mario Strikers, I think it was called for the GameCube, with the, um, with playing football, and of course, was it football? I have no idea. All I remember is a Mario Strikers game for GameCube, but we have Mario Strikers Charged, um, the Wi-Fi isn't as great as I would like it to be. Of course, it lags out a lot and makes it slow. But if you're playing the regular game, it's still awesome, and the power-ups are great. Um, 
And so that is Mario Strikers Charged. And the next game is Mario Super Sluggers. Um, this was actually an unexpected buy. I never really thought I would get this game, but I bought it and I was actually very surprised by how good this game was. Um, I'm a big baseball fan, so I thought I might should pick this up. And I love the fields in this game. I know there's one on a cruise ship and like one in a casino with Waluigi or Wario, I forget. But all I remember is I love this game. Um, it's really fun. Um, I love I love how easy the uh, controls are because sometimes sports games can be a little a little scary because the controls are so like there's so many controls that you have to like remember and do. But this one's very easy to pick up and play, and the games are fun. They're not too long, so you can just pick it up and do a game. So that is Mario Super Sluggers. And here we have My Sims. I remember when I originally got this, I could play hours of this because of the item creation and the customization of almost everything in this game. Um, I don't remember too much, but all I remember is that the customization in this game is amazing. There's so much you can do. You can build your own stuff, put it in your house, paint it, change the houses, change the people, change everything. Pretty much the game revolves around your, all of your decisions. There's no real story to it. And it's I, I remember it as being pretty fun. Um, the next one is Nerf and Strike. I got this game on Black Friday for like five dollars. And honestly, I have not played it. Um, can't really tell you much about it. Uh, <laughs> the little shooter thing you get with it is cool. I, I have that in my uh, game room. But I uh, honestly can't say anything about this game. I haven't really gotten to it. Nerf and Strike. <laughs> now the next game is definitely another one in my top five. Um, I should do a top five or ten video. Maybe I'll do that in the future. Remind me. <laughs> but that is New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Oh my god. I cannot say enough about New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, I loved the one for DS and when they brought it to the Wii with the motion controls and with the four player compatibility I was so happy. Such a great game. I love playing this with my friends. This is probably my favorite game to play with my my uh, video game inclined friends, you could call them. But we had so much fun with this game. I remember even getting my mom and dad into this game, and they're not video game people. But um, it's such a great game. I for anyone, please go out and pick up New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Um, if if anything could bring you into the world of gaming, it would be New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Cause I think it really showcases um, gaming at its finest with your favorite Mario characters. Now next is Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. Um, we, me and my sister picked this up last year, I think, um, right around when it came out in November or December. And it was great to see another Pokemon game to come to Wii. Um, we haven't seen one of those in a while, but I would still like a Pokemon Coliseum Pokemon XD light game for the Wii. Um, I haven't played much of this, my sister mainly plays this. But from what I've seen, it's pretty good. I mean, you have the, your favorite little Pokemon characters running around in the world. So, um, she seems to have fun with it. So, if you like Pokemon, and you like the aspect of, like, caring of being the Pokemon, I would definitely recommend Poke Park Wii. The next game is another Pokemon game that I was talking about, and that is Pokemon Battle Revolution. Um, this game was kind of an upset because it didn't really bring anything new to the table. It was just Pokemon battles. Not that that's bad, but um, I remember that the best part about this was the 3D graphics, which were really good, and that it actually like things were actually attacking each other. So that was definitely a positive aspect, and the Wi-Fi was really good. It is really good on Pokemon Battle Revolution. Um, I like battling people online. Um, so there we have it, Pokemon Battle Revolution. Now the next game is Sean White's Snowboarding Road Trip. I got this for Christmas, I think, two or three years ago. I have no idea. I haven't played much of this. I know it was with the balance board, and um, I think the balance board integration is pretty good. I don't remember too much. I haven't played much of this, so I can't really recommend or say anything about it. But that is Sean White's Snowboarding Road Trip. Now next is Spore Hero. Um, you have no idea how excited my sister was when they finally announced a Spore game coming to Wii. Um, she wanted, she has it like on all systems, and she wanted to play it on the Wii. 
and that is Spore Hero. I know it's a lot different from the computer version. It's not with all the different worlds. You're just kind of like playing a story, but that's not ne necessarily a bad thing. If you're into the cr um, creature creation element of Spore, um, you still get to do all that capability in this game, all the collection. Um, I think it's concentrated more on battles with other creatures, but um, I think it's a pretty good game. I enjoy it, and it's fun for what it is, and that is Spore Hero. Now next is The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. Um, I can't tell you much about this. This is my sister. She's the big Spyro maniac. She's told me that this is one of her favorite Spyro games. But, um, Spyro Dawn of the Dragon in my collection. <laughs> now next is probably one of the most, if not the most, celebrated two games on the Wii. And that is... Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now, first we had Super Mario Galaxy, which pretty much revolutionized 3D platformers on the Wii. It was a follow-up to Super Mario 64. It was a follow-up to the Super Mario 64 for DS. Super Mario Sunshine, that's what I meant to say. And it was an amazing game. Um, like, the platforming was amazing. The, like, things with the gravity were fun. The levels were intriguing. Everything about this game was amazing, and no one thought it could be tough until they came out with Super Mario Galaxy 2, and they ramped it up even more. So I would definitely say this is in my top 5. Both of these are, or in my top 10. I don't know, I still have to do one of those top 5 or 10 videos. But the Super Mario Galaxy series, um, I would definitely recommend if you don't have either of them to go pick up Super Mario Galaxy 2. And if you have Super Mario Galaxy 1, go pick up Super Mario Galaxy 2. And if you have Super Mario Galaxy 2... Check out Super Mario Galaxy, because they're both amazing and different and fun and amazing, and I love them so much. And that is the Super Mario Galaxy series. Looks like they're going to fall over here. Okay. Next, we have Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. This was another launch title for the Wii that I picked up with the launch. I think those were the only three games I picked up for launch. But, um, this definitely lived up to the Super Monkey Ball hype. Um, of course... Um, Super Monkey Ball seemed only natural to put with the motion controls on the Wii, and it definitely fits. I have not played the new one with the balance board, but I'm actually really interested in playing, I think it's called uh, Step and Roll. I'm really interested in trying that out. This one's really great. The mini games aren't, like, amazing, like Mario Party, but they're fun, and they keep you entertained. And the worlds are cute, the monkeys are cute. Ah, oh, sorry, the monkeys are cute. Burped a little there, sorry. The monkeys are cute, and the monkeys are cute. <laughs> Next one is another top game of everyone, the game that everyone has, and that is Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and I mean, you guys probably know a lot about Super Smash Bros. Brawl, it's, it's a Super Smash Bros. game, we have our amazing characters, we have finally some third party characters like Sonic and Snake, and of course the online capabilities which are so much fun to play with your friends and with people around the world. And the amazing story, which was ramped up from Super Smash Bros. Melee into an actual story with platforming, and it was so great. I finished it 100% through, got every single thing. It was so much fun. Um, this game is timeless. It never gets old. You can always play this, and it's a new game every single time. So that is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, next is Tamagotchi Party On. Um, Got this for a present a long time ago, I don't remember, um, I do not recommend this game, um, it's kind of boring, but, um, yeah. Okay, and the next game, um, if you don't know, I'm also the hugest, biggest, 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 if there's anything I'm the biggest fan of, that is Pixar, and even more specifically, the Toy Story series. So you cannot, like, even imagine how excited I was when Toy Story 3 came out. And, of course, I had to pick up the video game. I mean, come on. Um, and this game actually surprised me a lot. I mean, movie games you normally think are kind of stupid, kind of boring. They're just kind of made to promote the movie or gain some of the revenue that the movie generates. But Toy Story 3, the video game, was actually one of my um, big surprising titles of 2010 and actually turned out to be really fun. The story mode was like 
really intense. It was actually got hard at times, and I love that you could do co-op. And then, of course, you have this fun mode called the Toy Box mode, where you just have your own world to explore. Um, you get to meet your favorite Toy Story characters, which was my favorite part. The amazing music in this game. Um, and the world to explore in Toy Box mode is absolutely amazing. You can expand, you can build your own stuff, you can change the clothes, change the buildings, get new games to play. And I would say Toy Story 3 is the best movie game I have played in my life. Um, we're coming down the home stretch here with the last six games, and we have Warrior Wear Smooth Move. This came out a couple, I don't know, if it was a couple months after the Wii came out, and I was a huge fan of the Warrior Wear, Warrior Wear Touched on the DS, so I had to get this, and I think it's so much fun. Um, it's, it's probably one of the games I've laughed at the most, with all the different, like, um, the different configurations you have to put the remote in, like, um, let's see here, the Big Cheese and the mortar and the pestle, pestle, I think that's the thumb wrestler, the elephant. There's so many little fun things you had to do with the Wii Remote, and it's all fast and, like, lightning speed, and you have to brace the clock, and it's a lot of fun to play with a lot of people. So if you have a kooky crew of people you like, um, where you are swimming, it's definitely a fun game. And now we go into the four games I have in the Wii series, I guess you could call it. The first one is Wii Fit, um... I don't have Wii Fit Plus, I only have Wii Fit. Um, I started playing this game a lot when it first came out, but then I realized, I mean, I don't really need exercise. I swim, like, every day at my swim team. So, but I know my sister does this a lot, and she says it helps her. It's fun. Of course, you have the mini games, um, the yoga poses, the, I think it's like, I don't know, like, push-ups and stuff, whatever that is. Um, I don't remember too much about it, because I kind of stopped playing it. But um, the balance board was definitely cool to have, especially for other Wii games that integrate the balance board. And the uh, next game in the Wii series is Wii Play. Um, it's not too great of a game. I mean, there's a couple mini games in here like Tanks. I know Tanks I can play with my one friend Michael. Or like, ever. Tanks is like our favorite game to play. But um, it's a good collection of mini games. Um, of course, you got the free Wii Remote with it when it came out. Don't know if they do that anymore. But Wii Play was good for what it was what it was supposed to be, and that was to showcase some mini games uh, to be a mini game series. And I know now they've come out with Wii Party, which I've played once or twice, and I'd say it's definitely better than Wii Play. So if you're looking for a Wii series party game, I would definitely recommend Wii Party as opposed to Wii Play. So the next two games in the Wii series would be the two Wii Sports games, and those are Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Now Wii Sports comes with every Wii game, I mean not much to say about that, everyone has Wii Sports if you have a Wii. And Wii Sports Resort, which was meant to showcase the Wii Motion Plus, which came with this game, and for what it's worth, Wii Sports Resort really does show off the Motion Plus capabilities very well. Um, some of the games on here are actually really fun, especially the airplane game and the, some of the water sports are so great and fun. So, if you want a good Wii Motion Plus game, I would definitely recommend picking this up. I don't have any other Wii Motion Plus games that I know of, but this one's really fun. Um, I know it was bashed sometimes for being just like a stupid little game, but I, I think it's really fun. And, coming down the home stretch for the last game, and that is Zack and Wiki Quest for Barbarossa's Treasure. I have not played much of this, but it is a good puzzler, a good 3D puzzler, has a fun story. And some of the puzzles are so hard, but I think that's what makes it so much fun. So I would definitely recommend picking this up if you're into puzzlers on the Wii, or any kind of puzzlers. Because um, the style is so great, it's on like an island, and it's, it's a really good atmosphere and really fun to play. It's very relaxing too, which I think is uh, good for some kinds of games. So that is it guys, that is my entire Wii collection in its entirety of all my games. Entirely. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope I will see you guys for some kind of top 5 or 10 Wii games video that I'll do eventually. But um, that is it for my collection update. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> Tell all your friends. And Dash the Gamer signing out.